What's going on guys? Tutorial X6 here with a very, very reflective bubble that you can see me in back there. Anyway, today is a special day because my pile of loot arrived and I'm so excited to review some of the stuff in here that I figured I needed to do a review on Wednesday too. So today we're taking a look at TWT01 Grind Rod from Toy World. Um, yeah, this is just one of the things that came in my pile of loot. The other is like Masterpiece Sideswipe and stuff. And I really want to get these guys reviewed and know what you guys are most interested in. Um, so with that in mind, I actually made a Facebook page. Facebook.com slash T2RX6. I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, if you guys want, feel free to subscribe there. And it's a great way to talk, uh, talk with me and go back and forth on what we're going to be reviewing. Um, it's a good way for me to actually put out questions to the anyone who subscribed to it or likes it and uh, get feedback on what you guys want to see. So this is Grind Rod. It's a very minimalist box, very small, a um, little bigger than an uh, alternative box. Pretty nice, nothing fancy, just show the uh, next one searchlight, uh, or Aurora is what they're calling him, I guess. Grind Rod being Rollbar, if you go by his actual transfer Transformers name. So, uh, yeah, let's get this guy open and we'll go from there. Alright guys, so here he is. Here's Grind Rod out of his package. And in standard fare, inside you get one of these little trading card things. And you get some instructions here. Now, this has been shown to have a leg mode here, and you can see... Well, there's nothing officially on the instructions about it. Um, step four there is kind of the closest you get to some kind of leg mode. We'll discuss that as we go through the transformation here. The first thing you're going to do, though, is take these instructions and put them in a box and never look at them again, because they actually don't help you very much to get this guy transformed. But let's take a look at Grindrod himself. He's a pretty nice uh, Jeep. Looks like a Wrangler, I suppose, with a hard top. Though it does take some liberties, uh, all things considered. Really nice, very nice paint apps, very detailed. Um, aside from having the port here and some kind of white to my plastic there, he has really nice paint apps. And uh, especially when you put this tire back on, it's pretty cool to see the bar that would swing out for the rear tire. Um, for, I guess, well, I don't know if it would actually work on this Jeep. Well, they do show that it has the hinges up here, so I guess so. But yeah, really, really nice job here. The bottom is actually pretty clean. Um, you can see the legs, and that's pretty much it for his bot mode that you can see. So that's pretty solid. Now, the reason I say get rid of the instructions is because in the transformation, the instructions don't... They miss a couple steps, and uh, they're kind of key steps to making this work. But anyway, here he is next to the... Uh, Deluxe Bumblebee. He ends up being a little bit bigger than I was actually expecting him to be. He's not really in scale with Bumblebee if you consider the size of the vehicles, but as a uh, throttle bot, he does pretty good because considering that this would be our most likely candidate for Gold Bug, if Hasbro ever made one, or you have the kit from Bankster or Beel's the boss, then yeah, there's your Gold Bug, and here is your Roll Bar who. Scales nicely considered considering G1 toys. So let's actually transform this guy. The first thing we're going to do is take off his tire here. And uh, this is where we're going to start discussing, I guess, the prospect of a combiner mode. If he combines, he actually only has this port here, which I suppose if someone came with some knee joints or something to plug in, it is a fairly solid connection in that I can hold him and he's not gonna fall so I suppose it is possible but yeah he just has that plug really um, to transform his little gun here all you do is flip it out and it becomes this little dual blaster Eh, it's an okay weapon um, to actually start the transformation here they tell you you pull down here and I tugged and pulled and nothing was happening what you kind of have to do is split things apart here a little, uh, specifically up towards the roof up here. And then once that's free, everything here is going to start kind of coming apart. A little bit difficult, for sure. 
but you'll eventually be able to work it like that. And once you do, that's when you can extend out these legs like this. Now, the combined mode we saw, these legs would not be separated. And what they actually do is you rotate these in, which is part of the transformation, and you take this uh, grill piece, and you kind of pop it forward like that, and then you rotate this whole thing on up. And that's the leg mode that we've seen online, um, the supposed leg mode. Notably, it doesn't have any tilt left or right like Hercules' leg did, so I don't know. I, I'm not holding my breath that we're actually getting a combining set of throttle bots. Um, I suppose it's still possible, but that's pretty much it. Next, we are going to go on to this upper section. Now, it actually doesn't tell you to do anything with these till two steps from now, but we're going to get them out of the way now. And what you actually want to do is it just tells you fold them back. You want to swivel these around, and there's uh, two tabs there, and uh, you just plug them in like that. Uh, once we have that done, now you can start working on this back piece and what you want to do is bring this top part of the Jeep up and it's a little bit tough to do because you have to kind of rotate this piece out here and get the back of the uh, Jeep over the bumper now this doesn't go down very far it goes like this it looks like it has room to go down more and if I kind of carefully work it with my finger here I can actually get it to go down more and have it plug all the way flat like that but that actually keeps this from swiveling in and if you try to do it without it's just going to pop off. So you really just want to plug it in and take it as far back as you can. It's probably going to pop off but ultimately you should be left with the ability to plug this in and kind of get that behind these pegs. At least that's how I think it goes. And then the roof of your Jeep will fold down back here to make his little hood thing that the throttle bots had. Now one thing that is peculiar is there is this uh, assembly type thing right here that doesn't seem to serve a purpose. It could just be wishful thinking but I suppose if you got rid of this flap they could make something that plugs into here. I don't know. It depends. This, if, if, if it was a make toys toy, I would think that that's possible because of how uh, giant connected, but this is Toy World who never has done a combiner, only Hegemon previously, so I don't know. Again, I wouldn't hold my breath too much. From here, you can flip up his head, which is just rotated. It's pretty tight joint. And then you're going to take the front of his Jeep here and kind of free it from the arm. There's two little tabs here that are holding it in. Once it's free, they tell you to rotate it on up to get it out of the way. Um, that does make it a little bit easier. You don't really have to. And then you can just kind of swing out these arms on the swivel. And these are extraordinarily stiff, his elbow joints. So they're gonna take some messing around with before they loosen up. But once you got that, you can bend his elbow here and then it actually tells you just slide this forward that's not how it works it's actually on a rotation joint so it comes out and in and once you get that you'll rotate his doors on down not a totally necessary thing to do but it does give him a little more more elbow clearance and then finally as you can imagine you're just gonna plug his chest on up and in and there you go, you've got Grind Rod in his robot mode. And uh, I like this guy quite a bit. Uh, I like that overhead uh, hood type thing that he has going on. And let's just take his gun and we can plug it into his arm, or his hand I should say. And it actually, I don't like how it fits in there. Because this arm flap is rotated down like they tell us to do, it actually blocks your ability to get the gun in. So you kind of have to rotate it up and even then it's only plugged in just a little. So I'm not a big fan of uh, 
this particular manner in which the gun holds in his hand. It's not all that good. But the robot itself is pretty darn good. Uh, just for a size comparison here. Here he is next to our Classics Bumblebee here. So he does have a good bit of height comparatively. So I do like that. He uh, transforms pretty nicely and he feels pretty weighty. He's a lot more solid um, feeling a lot more like a Hasbro toy than I was expecting too. For articulation, uh, he's ball jointed here on his hips. So you got that, you got a thigh rotation, you've got a knee due to transformation. Technically it's double jointed, so it does look a bit weird if you use that second joint. Uh, nothing really here except for this front grill. I guess you can kind of move it down if you want to do something with it. it. It doesn't allow a whole bunch of posability, but it's there. You got the shoulder ball joint, which can swivel up and down a little again due to transformation. You've got a very, very stiff rotation of the arm up here and an elbow. The wrists swivel a little, but are kind of hindered by the doors. But again, if you don't rotate them on forward, you'll get more range of motion out of his wrists and get to spin them all the way. So really, I don't know, I think this whole rotate the door thing for it is just completely unnecessary. So I guess it does make a better looking uh, upper arm when you can have it forward. He does, I just am noticing, he actually has two different fists. This is actually the first time I realized that one is a closed fist and one is an open fist. Let me plug this back in together. Let's see if this gun works any better on this hand. No, it's even worse on that hand. So it only can go in this hand and it doesn't even work all that well. You can though put it as a elbow mounted blaster because this port here actually does work to fit it in still. So I guess that's something if you really want it. Of course the head is on a swivel and it does get some up and down due to the hinge there and he does have a pretty nice although possibly slightly awkward uh, waist. So yeah, that's Grindrod and ultimately I really dig this toy. I know he went up $10 since I pre-ordered him on BBTS and everywhere. Seems to be going for $70. Do I recommend him? I don't know. I am one of the people who really loves the G1 homages that are done. And uh, even though the throttle bots never really played all that big of a part, I kind of dig them still. Uh, I certainly can tell you that I dig him more than this toy. And I think if you're willing to shell out the money for this uh, hench, then I think that he's actually probably a pretty solid investment. And I don't like some of the things that this toy has wrong with him. Um, he's definitely got some issues, but that's probably another review. Hopefully I'll have a fixed leg by the time I do that. But yeah, I think it's up to you. It depends on if you care about the throttle bots or not. If you are a fan of just collecting modernized G1s, then it's, it's a no-brainer. It's a very solid toy. Um, a lot of fun. $70 fun? I think so, because he does come out to be a pretty decent deluxe and I think 70 is fairly fair for a third party uh, deluxe toy um, considering they're not mass producing like Hasbro but that ultimately is your decision so this is T2RX6 I hope you guys enjoyed the review don't forget to check out my Facebook page facebook.com slash T2RX6 so we can interact about uh, upcoming reviews and such and uh, I'll see you Friday, most likely with uh, Masterpiece Sideswipe. See you later, guys.